Hi, this is Harish Bali from technofit.com. Do you prefer to track your daily or weekly schedule by following a manual organizer? If the answer to this question is yes, then you will love to use Google Calendar. We all use smartphone or tablets throughout the day and these devices do a great job in setting up schedule with the help of Google Calendar. If you create a schedule on desktop, you can easily edit it on smartphone and vice versa. Moreover, Google Calendar does a remarkable job in reminding you about your important events. To learn more, watch this video. To open Google Calendar, type google.com slash calendar on web browser. You can also reach calendar page through your Gmail inbox. Open Google Apps icon and then go to calendar. Let me first show you how to create a new calendar. For that, click on this little drop down icon next to my calendar and go to create new calendar. This is the place to write title of the calendar. Let's say I am planning to host a seminar on digital marketing. So my title would be seminar on digital marketing. Write detailed description here. Enter the location. Choose the time zone. If this is a public calendar, you can check this box. Otherwise, leave it as it is. Enter email ID of the people with whom you wish to share the calendar. I am entering email ID of two of my colleagues. I am also entering my Hotmail email ID. Once this is done, you need to change the permission settings. There are four options that are available. Choose the desired option out of these options. I am giving them right to see all the event details and then click on create calendar. Since I shared a calendar with a Hotmail mail ID, so I will have to send invite message sent. This is the new calendar that has got created seminar on digital marketing. Currently the calendar that is open is Harish Bali. If I want to open this calendar, I will need to click on this little drop down and display on this calendar. So this is my new calendar seminar on digital marketing. Today is 27 June Saturday. Let me first show you how to create a schedule and share it. For that click on create. This is the place to enter the event. So the purpose of the event is to discuss and finalize on speaker list and layout of invitation. I can choose the date which is 29 June time. Let me choose it at 9.30 am and keep the duration for a 2 hour 9.30 to 10.30, 11.30. Date is 29 June. If this is going to be an all day event, I can check this box. But since it's a 2 hour thing, so I'm unchecking it. If this event was about a repeat activity, then you need to check this box and choose the desired options and then click on done. Since this is a one time event, next thing is to enter the location. So this is going to be at Shiri Fort Auditorium. If you want to add people to video call, you can do the same. Write a detailed description about this event. Enter email ID of the people you want to again invite for this particular event. So I'm inviting the same set of people. And next thing is, you can obviously set a event for color for this event. I will prefer green. Show me as available. I will prefer to keep the visibility at default. I don't want my guests to invite others. So I'm unchecking this box and then save. Would you like to send invitation to guest? Send. I have just requested my friend Johnny to open his Gmail ID on this computer on another browser. This is his ID. So there are two invites that have come. One is the invite for calendar and second is the invite for that particular event. Okay, this is how the invite looks like. If he clicks on yes, yes, I'm going to be in. Let me now go back to my calendar. Again, display only this calendar. You can also set up reminders through email or pop up to enable the same. Click on this gear shift icon on the top right and then go to settings. Click on calendar tab. This is the calendar that we have created seminar on digital marketing. Click on edit notifications. You need to add a notification. If I want a reminder of this event, 
20 minutes before the event right 20 how do you want to be reminded pop up email or sms sms won't be functional beyond june 2015 that's what google is showing as a pop up so i want this to be reminded through a pop up then i would like another reminder through pop up 10 minutes before the event these are some of the interesting features of google calendar so basis your interest you can choose the one that you need i prefer to choose this daily agenda so this sends me mail every day 5 o'clock in the morning which has got my agenda for the day then the next step is save it for pop up reminders on mobile go to mobile setup choose your country enter your mobile number and verify the same and then save it i have already done this step after doing that go to labs click on this option gentle notification and ensure that this is enabled go down and you can save it to enable pop up reminder on mobile there is a step that needs to be performed i've got my mobile screen on my computer this is the screen go to calendar open these three dotted lines menu go to accounts multi calendar from the top click on these three dotted lines along the mail id I need to check this box seminar on digital marketing so that I start receiving pop-ups on my smartphone and save it. And now this is updated. So now before 29th June I will receive two pop-ups 10 minutes before and 20 minutes before the appointment time. If you are using Google Calendar on your mobile for the first time you will need to sync it for which click on menu and go to settings from the top click on google enter details of your google account and the sync will start happening automatically there are various layouts through which you can view the calendar for the day week or month so this is the monthly view this is the schedule created for 29th if you click on the date you can enter the schedule for 30th which is morning 10 am Let's finalize the seminar dates and the calendar is seminar on digital marketing click on create event and event is created. There are a couple of interesting features when I just mentioned that every day morning you can get the agenda over mail at 5 o'clock then there is this feature I like go to other calendar and then browse interesting calendars. If you want to put up a list of holidays on your calendar you can easily do that by choosing your country and then click on subscribe and if you love sports then you can subscribe to any of the sports let's say I like cricket go to this choose the respective cricket match country and this is already subscribed let me now show you the preview so all these dots will appear on my calendar let's go back to calendar you can also pick up schedule directly from your gmail inbox this is the mail that has come from one of my colleagues meeting with general manager of auditorium hi gm of auditorium wants to meet us on tuesday 30th june please confirm if that is fine if you keep a cursor on this you will see a line coming up which says add to calendar if you click on this it will directly take you to the calendar i can see my schedule for the day and decide to add this to the calendar and it's added you can go back to this event and save it there another interesting feature of google calendar is that you can work offline for that click on this gear shaped icon and go to offline you need to enable this and your setup will get downloaded you can also view the agenda by clicking on this agenda tab and through this more option you can take print of the agenda after your event is over you may want to delete the calendar for that click on this drop down icon next to seminar on digital marketing and go to calendar settings go little down and you will see this delete calendar permanently delete this calendar so are you sure you want to delete this since this was all done for the purpose of this demo so i am deleting this delete for everyone so I don't have this calendar anymore. Another interesting feature which I missed mentioning was quick add. 
click on this little drop down icon and add let's say dinner with ashish on 29th june at 8 pm add this will automatically get added to your main calendar which is harish bali in this case this is the event 8 pm dinner if i want to move this calendar to the other calendar click on this edit event you can move it to some other calendar write the description if you need pop up and do the other settings like the way we discussed and save it google calendar apps are available for android ios and windows if you found this video useful do give it a thumbs up also watch other interesting videos by clicking on the links appearing in front of your screen don't forget to subscribe to this channel and thanks for watching